Hi lovebugs, so this is a look that I did to go out for a girls night and everyone requested a tutorial so here it is. I hope you enjoy my glam look and if you do don't forget to give this a thumbs up. Stay tuned. The first step as usual is to prime my eyelids and today I'm using something different. It's Painterly Paint Pot by MAC Cosmetics and I'm just applying it with my fingers and a brush. And now I'm moving on to my eyebrows using the Urban Decay Brow Beater and I absolutely love this pencil because of its texture. It's a little bit more on the dry side so I'm able to really get a nice defined eyebrow without it being too shiny or slipping all over the place. So it has a spoolie end that I'm just using to blend in that pencil. Now I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Basics palette and I'm just applying that light shade all over to neutralize and also set my primer. And then I'm using a bronzer and this is my favorite bronzer for my face but also to use to warm up my eyelids and it's the NYX Cosmetics Bronzer in 5. I'm going to use the Vice palette because I am in love with these colors for the fall. I showed you guys how I did a green look in a previous tutorial using this palette and now I'm doing this gorgeous soft peachy pink look that I use for a night out. I'm also going to use that Naked Basics to define my eyelids so I'm using the browns from the Naked Basics palette and then the warm colors from the Vice palette. This video is not sponsored, I just absolutely am a fan of these products. So I'm just blending it with a big fluffy blending brush so that all the colors can kind of nicely blend together and uh, the smaller more dense brushes apply more colors so fluffy for blending and applying a more dense brush. Okay, <laughs> so now I'm using a flat concealer brush to just apply flame to my eyelids so the inner portion of my eyelids to the center is going to get this nice shimmery color. It's gorgeous. It looks amazing on my complexion and I know that this will look gorgeous on most complexions so definitely give it a shot and now I'm applying my skin tone to my eyes to help blend it out further so I have oily skin and whether it's day or night or fall or summer I have to prime and I'm using the Becca Cosmetics primer and now I'm going back into that Urban Decay Naked Basics palette to really really define my outer portion of my eyes so as you see I'm using a small dense brush to really pack on that color and then I'll blend it out with a fluffier brush Now I'm going to apply foundation, thank goodness, um, and this is my Ultra HD foundation from Makeup Forever and I am a huge fan and this brush is my favorite foundation brush and it is by Motives Cosmetics. So I'm just applying, so I'm applying and then blending it out and also getting all those areas to make sure that everything looks nice and even and picture perfect. Now I'm going to use my RCMA Makeup Foundation Concealer Palette and this is their number 10 palette and I'm going to contour and highlight with this using a beauty blender. I love this small beauty blender because it really gets into those little corners but I have to blend out my foundation and concealer so wherever they meet I'm using my foundation brush. I did not apply any more foundation to it. I'm just using whatever's left on it to make sure that I blend so that there are no lines um, indicating where my concealer ended. Now I'm going to go in with this Sephora Pro brush and I'm just going to apply my contour color to my nose, cheekbones, the bottom of my lip, the tip of my nose, my forehead, all those areas you want to make sure you have very nice definition in and that's all. So I'm just applying and then I'm going to go back in with the other part of the beauty blender that I did not use for my highlight and I'm just going to blend it all in because if it's not seamless and everyone can see what you did, it's just not a good job. So you want to make sure that everything looks perfectly blended. Now I'm going to set my highlight areas with my Ben 9 Banana Powder and I don't do this for daytime looks but when I'm going to have a girls night or I know there's going to be a lot of photos being taken, I definitely make sure that I set my concealer. Then I go in with my foundation color in between the highlight areas because I want to apply a matte uh, powder 
onto my contour area so I want to make sure I set that cream product that I put and then I'm just going to blend away the Ben Nye powder with my foundation brush so that everything kind of has like a nice even tone but just a little highlighted in certain areas but not too white then I take a clean fluffy brush and blend away my eyes so I did not apply my foundation color to my eye area because I want that to be nice and bright now I'm going to finish off my eyes and I'm going to use the dark brown eyeshadows from the Naked Basics palette to really smoke out my lower lash line. To make sure my eyes don't look too small, I'm going to highlight my waterline with Lancome's Lame Eyeliner. Then I'm going to apply two coats of mascara and this is my Lancome Hypnose Mascara and it makes my eyelashes look amazing. But I'm going to wear false eyelashes and if you're not, then just definitely apply a lot of mascara. These are my Yonsei lashes by Lena, so <laughs> of course I had to. But yes, um, moving on, I'm going to bronze up my cheekbones and make sure that they really pop and then I'm going to highlight. And you guys need to be ready for this highlight. Um, hello, you can see for the first touch to my cheeks. Yes, I'm absolutely obsessed. I've been wearing this pretty much every time I do my face since buying this Makeup Forever highlighter. I am absolutely obsessed, like obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. <laughs> So I'm applying that to my cupid's bow, my inner corners of my eyes, the tip of my nose, and my cheekbones. Now I'm going to apply this Black Up Cosmetics Powder Blush in number 5, and it's just this gorgeous peachy color. And then we're going to move on to the lips, and I'm going to contour my lips with my Cork Lip Liner by MAC Cosmetics. It is my all-time favorite. I do replenish this lip liner often. I love it. Um, it's just as needed for me as Vino. And this is my nude lipstick by Melt Cosmetics. That name uh, for this lipstick is appropriate. <laughs> It is nude. And then I'm going to apply this pink gloss by Urban Decay and your look is complete. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and if you do give it a try, make sure to tag me, Beauty by Lee, on all social media uh, platforms. And yeah, like this video, subscribe, and share with all your friends because sharing is sexy. Love you. Bye.